Hello and welcome to DIY Golf Cart. Today we'll be installing a rear folding seat kit on a 2008 and up EasyGo RXB. Now we'll begin with the video. Our first step when installing this rear seat kit will be to remove some of the items that were found factory on this cart, which includes the sand bottle holders and the sweater basket over here to the left. So we'll begin by taking these sand bottle holders off. Go. Our next step will be to remove the four bolts holding the sweater basket to the frame rails itself. This requires the use of a T45 Torx bit, and a, this is a 15 millimeter socket. Our next step, we're going to need to remove these bolts. Now this bolt was already removed when we removed the sweater basket. We're going to remove the same one on the other side. So this is the bolt we'll be removing with that same T45 Torx bit. Once we got all four of these bolts removed and we have the two on either side, on both sides, we're just going to take the sweater basket. For the next step, we're going to remove these two bolts on the bottom on both sides. So we'll take a 15 millimeter socket and wrench. And so once we got the bolt removed, we're going to take our seat tree frame brackets and we're going to run that bolt that we just removed through the bottom part of this bracket. So we'll put that through there and grab the nut, put it on the bottom side. Then we'll just, all right, once we got this bolt in, we're just going to reuse the same hardware, hardware that we removed, put these bolts through, and the nuts on the bottom side. Now we're not going to tighten anything, any of this up until later on in the video. For our next step, we're going to need to remove these two bolts here found in the bag well. These bolts will be the last ones outside of the well and the furthest away. So what we're going to do is take an Allen wrench, nut on the bottom and remove these bolts. I've already loosened them up for us. So we'll do that to both sides. For the next step, you need to use protective eyewear. What we're going to do is grab a 7 16 drill bit. We're going to make these holes a little bit larger to accommodate the larger bolts. So we'll do that on both sides. Once we've got the bolts removed and the holes drilled out, we're going to grab a piece of angle iron, place it in the bag well, and then grab the longer bolts that are provided in the kit. And for the time being, we're just going to run them through, just like so. All right, once we've got this bracket in and the bolts set in place, we're going to take our footrest brackets here and make sure that the larger part of metal is pointing inside of the car and just install it and hand tighten the nut. For the next step, we're going to grab our down supports, one inch bolts that are provided in the kit. And if you notice, the down support is going to point towards the rear of the golf cart and it's going to be put on the outside of this angle bracket. So what we're going to do is we're going to run a bolt through, put a nut on the back side. Next, we're going to put the deck of the seat kit onto the brackets. So we'll just Rest it right there on the golf cart. We'll take these two inch bolts, run them through the holes, put a washer on the back side, and then a nut. We'll do the same to the other side. So we'll grab the bolt. Go through the hole, put a washer, and then a nut. And then we'll do the same for the down supports. Now these down supports are going to go inside of the rail itself. What we'll do is we'll put the nut through, or the bolt, the washer, and then the nut. We'll do the same to this side. Alright, 
right, for the next step, we're going to install the armrails on the side of the cart. Now, what's great about this seat kit is the nuts are actually welded to the frame itself so that it makes for a nice smooth edge around the 360 degree bed rail so you don't have a nut there interfering with any kind of product or cargo you're carrying. So we'll do it. So we'll slap that on there like that. Grab the one and a quarter inch bolts, run them through the holes, and just hand tighten them for now. Now we'll do the same with the back side. And then move right along to the passenger side of the car. Our next step will require the installation of the footrest. So we'll grab our two and a half inch bolt, run it through, hook it through the other side, and then put a nut on. Then you can even flip it over because we haven't installed it yet. So put a nut on right there. Do the same for this side. We're going to take our footrest brackets that we installed earlier, slide the footrest over, grab a washer and a bolt, run it through, put a nut on the other side. Once we've got everything hand tightened, our next step will be to install the seat back to the bag or to the uh, the mounting brackets, which are the, the trees. That's what we call them. And it, one thing I want to point out is that our vinyl is unlike any other vinyl, any other seat kit that I've seen. Um, it's form fitted to match identical to the front of your cart. So what we'll do here. So we're going to take our seat back and the uh, 10 millimeter bolts provided in the kit and we're going to install them. So we'll just hand tighten it for now. Our next to last step will be to install the flip deck portion of the seat kit itself. So what we'll do is we'll rest it up on there like that. We'll grab the one inch bolt with the metal washer going through. And then these plastic washers rest in between the frame and the flip deck itself. So we'll put that through there like so. And then run a nut on the inside. Now you do want to tighten this, but you don't want to over tighten it because this flip deck op operation needs to still stay intact. So finally what we need to do is we need to tighten up all the bolts. So we'll do that for you right now. seat kit on a 2008 and up EasyGo RXV. Now, we're going to point out some features in this kit that are unlike any other on the market today. One unique feature that we have is we put these little rubber snubbers here on the angle of the, uh, the rear folding deck, which allows for a nice silent ride when you're using it over rocky terrain. Another feature of our seat is a 360 degree angle iron that goes around the entire bed itself. This will allow for items like a cooler not to slide off when they're traveling. Now, of course, you might need to strap this thing down, but it does give you some extra security. 
Not only does this kit come in a lightweight aluminum finish, like the one we installed here, but we also got a lesser expensive model that uses a high density polypropylene plastic. Still has all the durability, just not the look as the diamond plate one. One of the other features of our rear seat kit is the thickness of the cushion on the rear. Now what you see here is we're a little bit over three quarters of an inch, almost four inches, which almost makes for a more comfortable ride on the back of your cart than the front of your cart. So you might be looking for a chauffeur to take you around. We've already touched on these earlier in the video, but as you can see, we've got pre-drilled holes here for a grab bar if you want to add it at a later date or purchase it with your seat kit right away. The last feature of this seat kit is the strength and durability. It's unlike any other kit I've ever seen on the market, and that's the reason we choose to sell it. As you can see, I can put my entire weight on the lip of this seat kit, and it doesn't even bend. Uh, these kits are made in the USA, so the quality is second to none. And this concludes our install and our demonstration process of this American-made rear seat.